Hello everyone, welcome to Titan Web Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to add field mask into text input field. We're at our demo project here and I've added um, a text field to the screen and I'll click on the configuration and in the content, I'll scroll down and I have a field mask option. Now, what this mask option will give you is to dictate how you want this field to be masked. So for instance, you can do something like so. We can say NNN, which stands for a number, and then I want to get another three numbers and then four numbers. For instance, this is the masking for a phone number in Israel. So I'll click this and I'll hit preview and let's see what happens. And this says first name, I'm just, I'll change the label to a phone number. So. This uh, would be 055, 444, and this is the field masking for a phone number in Israel, um, for a mobile phone number. And once we get up to 10 numbers, then you cannot type anything else anymore. You could do something like, for instance, like this. And let's say if you wanted to um, combine it with letters, so I can say that I want to have eight numbers and then two letters. So I'll preview this. And there is a lot you can do. I'm not sure if I saved it. Let's save and then preview. And now I can type in my numbers and I can see my new mask. And then once I get up to the letter mask, I have to type in letters. And obviously it's something you would want to show in the placeholder, an example of a number 000. And this you will say one, two, three, and then four, five, and then A, B, just so they know what to type. And then it will be easier for them to meet the criteria of the mask. So we can see the placeholder. This is what we want to get. And there you have it. And this is how it's done.